Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived a king named Midas. Midas was a very rich king, but he was not a happy king. For with all his treasures of gold and jewels, this greedy man still longed for more wealth. All day he would think only of gold. Restless nights as he tossed about on his royal bed, he dreamed of more gold. He wanted above all else to become the wealthiest man in the world. And often he would forget his young daughter Marigold, whom he truly loved very much. And so for long hours, little Marigold played all alone among the lovely flowers of the spacious palace grounds. Bright, shining yellow flowers were her favorites. And she fashioned each day a bouquet of the most perfect of them to put upon the palace tables. The choicest flower of the lot was always shared with her father. But greedy King Midas only sighed and thought, Ah, uh, if only these flowers were real gold instead of merely golden color, then they would truly be worth the having. But Marigold loved the sweet-smelling flowers just as they were, and she hurried to place them in cool, fresh water, lest they wilt. The bright yellow color of the flowers reminded Midas of the golden coins and the treasures hidden deep in his castle dungeon, and he worried that perhaps someone had discovered them. King Midas in great surprise. It is of no matter, said the stranger. But why are you not happy, King Midas? You have more golden treasures and more golden coins than you can possibly count in a day. Just what is it that will bring you contentment? What will satisfy you, King Midas? King Midas sighed. I have long dreamed of becoming the richest man in the world. I have only one wish. I wish that everything I touch would turn to gold. Then I could be truly happy. Very well, then, the stranger said. I will grant your wish. Tomorrow morning at early sunrise, you shall have what you desire. You shall have the golden touch. Use it wisely, King Midas. And now, farewell. Not wanting to go to bed, lest he oversleep, the king dozed that night in a chair at the head of his dining table. At dawn, the golden rays of sunlight pierced the palace windows. King Midas awoke at once, eager to test the power of his promised golden touch.
first, the king could not believe it possible. But when he rapped upon the chair, he knew it to be solid gold. Then one slight touch of his hand, and his throne too turned to glittering gold. Now King Midas knew that as long as he lived, he, King Midas, would be the wealthiest man in the world. For who could have more gold than he? made King Midas very happy. But as he sat down to eat breakfast, Marigold came in from the garden with an armful of golden flowers. Look, father, she said sadly, what has happened to my lovely flowers? They are hard and ugly and have no fragrance at all. Wonderful, my dear, said the king. They are real gold. Imagine real gold. Come now, sit down and eat your breakfast. King Midas was very hungry, but as he reached for an egg, it turned to gold at his touch. And as he picked up the loaf of bread, it too turned to gold. Oh, this will never do, thought the king to himself. Such a costly breakfast and not a thing to eat. He was angry with himself for ever having wished for the golden touch. And he was angry at the stranger for having granted his wish. It saddens Marigold to see her father so troubled. She wanted to comfort him. But when the old king touched her arm, poor little Marigold became a statue of rigid gold. King Midas, surrounded by all his golden treasures, now knew how all alone he was. Through his sobs, he heard the voice of the stranger. Well, my friend, so you have made a discovery. Midas wept, for through his own greediness, he had lost the one thing he truly loved. Which would you rather have, Midas? The precious golden touch or a glass of cool water? A glass of cool water, cried Midas. The golden touch or a crust of bread, said the stranger. A crust of bread, answered Midas eagerly. The golden touch or your daughter? Oh, my child, my dear, dear child, wept Midas. Very well, then. If you wish to be relieved of the golden touch, wash your hands in the water of the river outside your garden. Then, take a vase of the same water and sprinkle it over anything you wish to change back to its former state. Remember me. And the stranger disappeared. King Midas lost no time in obeying the stranger's words. He reached for an empty pitcher and ran for the river to fill it with the precious water. Shortly he returned and at once sprinkled it over Marigold's head. Soon all traces of the golden touch were gone and he began to hate the sight of anything made of gold. The only gold that he did enjoy was the gold in his little daughter's hair. And so we are told, they lived happily ever after.